Checking in on my money. I'd like to keep this line open for my team. Yeah, that's right. Papa Bear, taking care of the kids. Can't hunt and gather on their own. Textbook codependency. Speaking of codependency, what do you want? I want my damn money, Jack. The Rumble rings up on Zoom to say, uh, to remind him he wants his money. I mean, what an annoying <laughs> thing to do. Remember, I want my money out. I'm in the, in the middle of plane. it. For, I've been here for like this. an hour and you've reminded, I want to see what's going on. So you said, I'm just here. I'm just yeah, in the park. I'm, I'm in the literally in the seat. You could have spoken to any of the others and they'd be doing something fun. <laughs> I am in the cockpit and I'm going to stay here until the end. Um, Isabella does a sort of sexy dance for the pervert. Oh, yeah. To yeah, a yeah, Rolling yeah. Stones ripoff that it's is so rippy off it. Too similar. Too rippy. For the Offie. first like twenty five seconds, very rippy. And then it starts sort of going. Oh, I'm a cat with a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not. Oh, it's song. not. It's not that one. Oh, that's a good song. Uh, it's so inept. Yeah. The whole fucking thing. People have now just started wandering around the plane. They've all got bored all with got her. Bit, there's a bit where Mr. McGillicuddy, uh, they try and get McGillicuddy interested in the sex workers. Yeah. And, and they go over and they go on. And because their voices, I think, have been added in ADR, they start going, oh, I've been looking for We've you. We've been looking for you for all you. over. One of them goes, shots, shots, shots. <laughs> You know, like people go, shut, shut, yeah. shut. Shots, shots, but because shots. her mouth isn't moving, that was, shut, shut, shut. <laughs> like really whispering. And he, he just goes, oh my God, no, <laughs> no. Mm, oh. Hi, I'm looking for you. <sighs> no, 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 thank you. I'm good. Oh, okay. What's all the commotion? Take it. Have a shot. Shot, shot. Come on, have a drink. Also, <laughs> I mean, they say they've been looking for him. It's, it's a plane. plane. <laughs> it's a plane with no seats. It's not, I don't know where they've been. <laughs> where have you girls been? Um, they then find out that um, the ramble has, uh, the ramble, the rumble, the rumble has set them up. Yeah. Um, the missing painting, he's already got that. And so he sent them on this, this heist when they didn't need to go because yeah. he's sort of double crossed them. It's sort of not explained why. No, uh, no, I, I think no, he would have it, to say it's so he can get them to do this, yeah. which they otherwise wouldn't have done <laughs> but I feel like I feel like he could have just not done the painting if that was his and just said you've got to do this one to clear your deck yeah. there didn't seem yeah, to be any yeah, need yeah. to do them over there's a little scene here where a man gets shot and uh, Kelsey Grammer uh, has a line where he goes my terracotta floor is porous and that's going to stay classic Frasier I, I wrote that down saying everyone when they filmed that we were going you know like, that, <laughs> that, that is going to be a classic line people, people have been quoting that for years like, don't you know it's porous my terracotta is porous they've got blood um <laughs> You fucked up my terracotta. This stuff is porous. Don't you get that? For God's sake, it's, it's a bitch. It's never going to come out. It's going to stain. They start transferring the crypto via a phone to the man who's on the ground. Isabella has a fight with the arms dealer's mm. uh, mate, and she stabs him to death with a bottle. Uh, that is the bits where it continually cuts back and her hands are unblooded <laughs> after all of that, having been blooded. Yeah. Uh, there is, coming up, Pete, the single greatest blooper in a movie ever. Um, the arms dealer, they get into a fight, he beats up Tyler, and then mm. Isabella opens the door, mm. and she throws him into a sort of electric sort of <laughs> computer server, it seems and that, it electrocutes him. Yeah, it seems like that's a bit of a design fault, because it looks like you use serviceable panels. Yeah, and if you touch them with your back, you touch them with your back, <laughs> You shouldn't die. Shouldn't die. Right? Yeah, exactly. The computer servers are CD players stacked on top of each other. In one shot, one uh, of the CD players opens. Yep. Yeah. And a bare naked lady's stunt <laughs> CD can clearly be seen during the fight scene. It's been one week since you looked at me. I saw, I saw the CD come out, but I didn't think to zoom in. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, brilliant. Could not be better. Fucking great. Um, Absolutely brilliant. When when that fight was happening, I did sort of think to myself, <laughs> this is like if you'd shown a kid an action movie for the first time, yeah. and then you'd said, now explain to me what happened throughout the film. They would just be like, the man, the door opened, and then the woman, and then the fell in, and the, 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 the CD's all broke. And you know, it's just too fucking much. 
there's another bit where the guy's on the ground it gets Trooper coming to kill him and Thomas Jane has a drone with a gun attached that he shoots some of them with yeah. and the other guys shoot I mean it's just <laughs> chaos the rumble you know Edge then says we know you did us in so how about we give all this money away how about we do that yeah. and the rumble says oh, time to burn down the village <laughs> And he sends his men to kill Edge's family. Um, she's making dinner, which again <laughs> sets it in a time where you go, I think the money plane takes off at four in the afternoon. <laughs> which is Makes just, it funnier. You're going to see the wildest things. What time does this happen? You, you're going to have to be at the airport at for three. <laughs> and then we'll, Remember traffic? Yeah. We'll be taking off at four. And <laughs> why, why aren't we just doing this on the ground? What's the benefit of doing it in the air? Well, we've got a money plane now. <laughs> yeah, shame. The bit where Edge then leaves the cockpit. (laughs) We never see him like head through the plane. No, he just no, he he's finds just his way to back. a door. Yeah, yeah. and uh, he's been there in this film for takeoff, a game of cards, and then he's just disappeared the whole <laughs> flight. And everyone who was talking to him before, being very interested in who he was, no, yeah. I know you. They've no one's gone. Where is that fucking guy? Where's he gone? <laughs> the, the, the good thing about this bit is. Who is now flying the fucking plane? And if if the answer is no one, then why did Edge need to be in there? Be in there, yeah, exactly, yeah. I thought to myself, okay, so when they jump out, I, I had a thing of just going, so what happens to the fucking plane? Do all these people just die? Yeah. Including the stewardesses. And you go, well, they deserved it because they were working for an evil corporation. Mm. <laughs> you get ready for that fucking Edge by that <laughs> rationale. Um, but I suddenly remembered the concierge has made it clear that he went, I'm an excellent pilot. Yes. And I thought, oh, well, that's good. So even though I'm doing a bit of the lifting here, the concierge, someone will say, there's no pilot in there. And he'll go, fucking hell, well, at least we're not all going to die. Don't worry, I'll get us back safely. Um, That didn't happen. But it was a strange thing because he does mention it and there's no other reason for it. We employ the finest pilots in the world. I know because I myself am a pilot. Edge then decides he is going to dispense the Bitcoin, not to them because these people Mm. are so awful, but to the victims of their crimes people who deal in human trafficking Mm. uh, and that sort of thing. And they decide they don't want to take any of the money at all or any of the notes because it's all blood money. Mm. So um, Jack's plan B, you always got to have that plan B because your plan A, Pete, is only as good as as your plan plan B. B. Can't light a fire with (laughs) with just one flint. He says, if there's no Darius, there's no debt. And he plays out a bit that Darius said when he was in the cockpit, where Darius says, I'm taking down the money plane. I'm going to take all the money for myself. (laughs) And he plays it over the PA to all the villains on the plane. I don't give a fuck who's on that plane. I'm the baddest motherfucker on the planet. I am Darius Grouch the third, the rumble, and I am taking down the money plane. On behalf of the House, I want to assure you that Mr. Grouch's head will be on a platter by the time we land. The House will compensate any lost funds. Uh, And they start to wager on how long it'll be uh, Mm -hmm. until they get noticed that Darius is dead. (laughs) 15 minutes! Uh, (laughs) My favourite bit in that is the the bookkeeper sort of goes, hey, why don't we have a bet on how long it will be until we get notice of Darius' death? (laughs) And they sort of go, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and there's a very polite round of applause. <laughs> our heroes, our heroes, fucking, they jump Idiots. out of the plane. Uh, and the, the notes blow around. They're blowing very gently. Mm. Um, so you know the plane door is open. And out they go. But then what happens really, really quickly is we go from there and guys there and Kelsey Grammer is shooting a machine gun. Yeah. Again, bumping their fists. Again. Iconic it, moment. Iconic moment. moment. It's, it's, but thing, can we see this gift? It's absolutely pearly white teeth. They're going, yeah. like that. And, and, and like, the, oh, yeah. the, the, the gun flash is so thick. It's so it's added so in bad. post. It's terrible they were, stuff. They say in a lot of their things, they were like, we, we filmed that and we were like, oh my God, we've got Frazier to be Scarface. And it's like, it's just an actor firing a gun. You know, you <laughs> And you've made it look as shit as you possibly that. could. I know, and... Yeah. No one's talking about it in glowing terms. No, even now, exactly. Yeah, well, well done. Yeah, well um, done. You get three months later in Istanbul. There's a box, and they open it up. These two like locals, mm. and there's a picture inside of a stickman giving a finger. No, no one's ever mentioned that this painting is going to Istanbul. 
No. Right? no. So, so it takes you a bit of time to go, I don't quite know what's going on here. <laughs> we go back with Edge. He's let his hair out of the man bun to show that all his troubles are pop- yeah. Yeah, behind yeah. him. He's, he's really like let his, literally let his hair down. Sitting in front of some logs because he's wholesome. Not, <laughs> yeah, he's not like, outdoorsy, not man. Not like you with your fucking drugs and your fried chicken. <laughs> he's He's got some logs and he is fucking happy, man. <laughs> and he gets a, a call from Thomas Jane who says, um, hey, somebody heard about the uh, publicity from the heist. It's driven the value up. Someone's offering you 60 million for it. And he goes, yeah. And he goes, split four ways. And Edge goes, no, man, split five ways. And hey, thanks. <laughs> and <laughs> a couple of things, right? This painting is, they show it, right? And they do not know what a painting is. No. So it's a print of a log cabin <laughs> that has a big blob of paint, like modern white Yeah, it's just like, you like this, paint. don't you? You That's like this, it. don't you? This, is this art? Yeah, yeah this is art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 60 million pounds. Now, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you two things about it. One, Edge doesn't have title to it because the one thing we know is it's the Grouches. Yeah. And he's got it. And that was his. And it was his painting and he stole it back and pretended it was stolen. So at the very least, it's owned by the insurance company who paid out on, on, on <laughs> the Rumbles thing. Yeah. Edge has no fucking title to it. No. If he's selling it to criminals, they are A, not going to pay 60 million pounds for it. They are certainly not going to go, it's become more valuable because of publicity. No. If anything, that it's is... It's become hot, that harder has, to, too hot to handle. It's made it valueless. Yeah. yeah. So... I don't know what Thomas Jane's fucking name is. <laughs> and it's all too nat. And it just ends with Edge looking over to his family. He's like, yeah, we, we did it. We I've did endangered it. everyone. I, I would like to just go back and just go, can I please, because it's your film, it's not very good. Can I put in two more shots? And one of the shots would be, it would be, the last thing we'd see is the money plane. And the guy who's the pilot would just go, I don't, I'm not actually a good pilot. I was just shown <laughs> off to up. look like the big man on campus. And what you'd have is the plane colliding <laughs> with the three. in 2001 <laughs> really inappropriate <laughs> and then it would cut back to Edge and Thomas Jane would ring back and just go yeah I've spoken to them again <laughs> there's nothing <laughs> um, I'm... and then he just gets a pipe <laughs> <laughs> and the plume of smoke that comes out <laughs> it spells out money plane put the A and the L of the wrong way round <laughs> money palm <laughs> dish fin no one's going to argue it's good, mm. but it's it's not. <laughs> but it's not hateable, is it? There no. Is, it, it rattles along and you go, well, you know, you gave it a fucking shot. Yeah. And you're not making a boring film. You've mm. tried to make something fun and half the time you don't take it personally <laughs> that you're just like, this is stupid and a waste of my time. Yeah. And beneath me, deeply beneath me. It's worth saying that when we did that COVID film with Kevin Nash, in one of our first uh, WrestleMe yeah. YouTube videos, and uh, the director of the COVID-19 film just gave the review two thumbs up and hey, said brilliant did. really enjoyed this and we were we were, Good on we were not holding back no we you really know. weren't um, Good on him I, I mean what a spirit of a winner yeah. that is where I sort of go well I can see how you get films made yeah exactly there is no holding you back you are just like <laughs> guys I thank you high five let's do this <laughs> great and I do look at this and I do sort of go you know what this at least it's not the fucking uh, a story about a you know a, a woman who's struggling and it's made <laughs> and it's bleak and it's depressing it's about a kid's been put in care and it would cost less than five million and I look at this and I just go well I mean it's a bit of fucking fun yeah you exactly know? yeah you know? they probably made more money than those films to be quite frank I would say yeah yeah brilliant loved it <laughs> five stars <laughs> five stars wrestle me yeah oh well done so look that was a look at Money Plane Money Plane um, I mean the podcast money has, has lasted about as long as the film <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. Michael, just put the video out. <laughs> put the film up the top Michael, of this. Michael, don't even put our, our thing on. Just put the film just up on, the YouTube. Film on YouTube. Make sure it's monetized, <laughs> <laughs> And we'll all be happy. It's the only fucking money that film's going to be. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 